technology have many great uses. That's why our ancients have studied it, worked so much on it, and produced a lot of literature over it also. The prime purpose of astrology was to foretell what is going to happen in future and make people ready about facing it. And with this knowledge of what is going to happen in future also comes the knowledge of how we can avoid it by proper planning and all of these things. Now, it is a three-step process, right? First of all, you identify what is going to happen. Secondary, you identify when it is going to happen. And thirdly, you identify what are the measures that can be taken to alleviate the suffering or to prepare yourself with it. And it is not only suffering, sometimes it can be enjoyment also. So planning how to enjoy, right? In the second part of timing when things are going to happen, there are three things. First of all, there is dasha, which is basically planetary periods, sometimes a cyclical, sometimes non-cyclical, which is based on nakshatras, which is based on rashis, or which is based on natural fructification of houses or planets, which tell us when a particular planet is going to get activated or when a particular rashi is going to get activated and whatever is the result indicated by that rashi or planet that happens in that particular period. Other than that, there is planetary transit, right? The movement of planets logged for our moment, logged for the moment of our birth or logged for the moment of the question indicates the future in the same manner, the planetary, because see, it is logged for the moment of birth or moment of Prashna, but after that also planets keep on moving. And with this movement, as they form multiple type of angular relationships between each other, they also give birth to events, right? This is what is transit. In addition to that, there is also something known as natural fructification year of planet that tells us when the result of a particular planet is going to come. In this natural fructification of planet, this also greatly helps us. For example, you may know that uh, Mars gets activated at the age of 28. But what result of Mars gets activated at the age of 28? One have to find, find this by experience. Basically, according to me, whatever is result indicated by Mars, that result, first of all, Mars indicates anger and all of these things. So by the age of 28, one learns everything about controlling anger or one has the maximum manifestation of anger in their lives. Along with this also, whatever happiness or misery Mars is supposed to give in horoscope, up to 28 years of it, up, up to 28 years of age, it matures. The timeline, the framework for that particular type of event, you know, is in becoming before the age of 28 and after the age of 28, the activation, the result happens. This is natural fructification as per the planets. Our sages have went one step deeper and they have told us the age of fructification of planet as per every house. A planet placed in a particular house when it is going to give result. This is what I am going to talk in this particular video today. Planets in different houses and when they are going to give the result. Sometimes this result in once in a lifetime for a particular example, you say sun. If there is Sun in the ascendant, it gives result at the age of 50, right? So whatever the result is there, it gives result at the age of 15 and then 15 plus 15 at the age of 30. Then 30 plus 15 at the age of 40, 45. Then 45 plus 15 at these ages, sun will be giving the result of being placed in ascendant. So you say sun being placed in ascendant indicates hair fall, suppose. So at the age of 15, hair fall issues starts. By the age of 30, hair fall issues are, you know, very grave. Sun in the ascendant can also indicate person having a very diplomatic position in life, diplomatic position in his profession, which one gains by the age of 30. So on and so forth, the result have to be predicted. For example, moon gives a result at the age of 27. So first of all, moon will give a result. If moon is in ascendant, will give a result at the age of 27. 
then 27 plus 27 next time it will give a result at the age of 54 then it gives a result at the age of 81 and so on and so forth mars in the ascendant gives a result at the age of 5 then 5 plus 5 10 15 20 25 so on and so forth so you say if someone is having mars in ascendant and this mars is the seventh lord in ascendant because when i am saying mars is giving the result of ascendant in the first house it gives the result of natural signification Along with this, it also gives the result of the house it lots, right? So you say if Mars as the seventh Lord is going into the ascendant at the age of 25, that is five plus five plus five plus five plus five at the age of 25, it can give marriage also. And if the marriage is not good, if the matchmaking is not proper, if the marriage is done at a bad murta, then in the next five years, you say at the age of 30, it can give divorce or separation also. Moon in Mercury in the ascendant gives a result at the age of 10 and 10 plus 10, 10 plus 10, so on and so forth. Jupiter gives a result at the age of 8. Venus gives a result at the age of 7. And Saturn Rahu gives a result at the age of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. Second house, Jup Sun gives a result at the age of 17. Moon at the age of 27. Mars at the age of 9 and multiples of 9. Mercury at the age of 36. Jupiter at the age of 27. Venus at the age of 60. Saturn, Rahu and Ketu also gives result at the age of 9 and multiples of 9. Third house, Sun gives result at the age of 20, Moon at the age of 3 and multiple of 3. Mars at the age of 13, Mercury at the age of 12, Jupiter at the age of 20, Venus at the age of 20 and Saturn, Rahu, Ketu at the age of 3 and multiples. In fourth house, Sun gives the result at the age of 14, Moon at 22, Mars at 8, Mercury at 22, Jupiter also at 22, Venus at 4, and Saturn Rahu Ketu at the age of, age of 8 and multiples of 8. In the fifth house, Sun gives the result at the age of 9 and multiples of 9, Moon also gives the result at the age of 9 and multiples of 9, Mars at the age of 6, Mercury also at the age of 6 and multiples of 6. Jupiter at the age of 7, Venus at the age of 5, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu also at the age of 5 and multiples. In the 6th house, Sun gives the result at the age of 3 and multiple of 3, multiples of 3, Moon at the age of 6 and multiples of 6, Mars at the age of 24 and multiples of 24, Mercury at the age of 37, Jupiter at the age of 40, Venus at the age of 41 and Saturn, Rahu, Ketu at the age of 24 and multiples of 24. In the seventh house, Sun gives the result at the age of 34, Moon at the age of 15, Mars at the age, Mars at the age of 17, Mercury at the age of 7 and multiples of 7, Jupiter at the age of 22, Venus at the age of 14, and Saturn Rahu Ketu at the age of 17 and multiples of 7. In eighth house, Sun gives result at the age of 3 and multiples of 3, Moon at the age of 6 and multiple of 6. Mars at the age of 32, Mercury at the age of 14, Jupiter at the age of 31, and Venus, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu at the age of 10 and multiples of 10. In the ninth house, Sun gives result at the age of 9 and multiples of 9, Moon at the age of 20 and multiples of 20, Mars at the age of 14 and multiples of 14, Mercury at the age of 29, Jupiter at the age of 15, Venus at the age of 2, and Saturn, Rahu, Ketu at the age of 14 and multiples of Regarding ninth house, there is something very specific because ninth house is the house of fortune. We generally also use it to see after which age the personal fortune of the native will be activated. So we believe that before this particular age, either the life of the person is going according to the fortune that is from their parents horoscope. That is, you know, whatever is indicated for child from the horoscope of mother and father that keeps on happening to the native or the results are completely dependent on the hard work of the native. After this particular age, the self portion of the native is activated and after that native starts getting complete result of his own horoscope and of the combinations of us. So before this particular age, it may happen that you may see a particular combination in horoscope, but the native may tell you that the result is not happening because he have not yet crossed the age. And after crossing this age, complete result of the particular combination will come to pass. Here, first you have to see the planet in the ninth house. If there is more than one planet in the ninth house, then take all the planets as fortune activation one, fortune activation two, fortune activation final, and so on and so forth. And if no planet, then go by the ninth. 
Sun is activates the fortune at the age of 22, Moon at the age of 24, Mars at the age of 28, Mercury at the age of 32, Jupiter at the age of 16, Venus at the age of 25, and Saturn at, uh, at the age of 36. Rahu at the age of 42 and Ketu at the age of 48. After this, the complete, all the combinations of the horoscope comes to complete blossom. And before that, it can happen that the good or the bad combinations of the horoscope are not working as per their full potential. Coming back to the principle, in the 10th house, sun gives a result at the age of 19 and multiples of 19, moon at the age of 43, Mars at the age of 27, Mercury at the age of 19, Jupiter at the age of 12, Venus also at the age of 12 and Saturn Rahu Ketu at the age of 27 and multiples of 27. In 11th house, Sun gives a result at the age of 24, Moon at the age of 16, Mars at the age of 24, Mercury at the age of 45, Jupiter at the age of 12, Venus also at the age of 12, and Saturn Rahu Ketu at the age of 24 and multiples. In the 12th house, Sun gives the result at the age of 38, Moon at the age of 45, Mars at the age of 5 and multiples of 5, Mercury at the age of 22, Jupiter at the age of 25, Venus at the age of 12, and Saturn Rahu Ketu of 45 and multiples. Once again, as I am saying that you see Mars in the 12th house give results at the age of 5 and multiples of. That basically means in the first 5 years because Mars is there in the 12th house there can be some problem. Then 5 plus 5 at the age of 10 years there can be some major expenditure related to Mars. Then at the age of 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, at all these ages, the result of Mars in the 12th house that can be damaged to the eyes, expenditure into court case litigations, expenditure on siblings, separation from sibling. Right? These are the natural result of Mars in the 12th house as per natural significance. Along with that, the result of Mars as per house lordship, you say Mars is the 7th lord in the 12th house, then separation from life partner. It is the 8th lord in 12th house, then accidents in that scenario will also happen at these ages. So these are basically fructification periods of planets which keep on happening again and again as these ages come again and again. So if I have said it activates at the age of 27, then it is 27, then 27 plus 27, that is 54, then 54 plus 27, 81, then 81 plus 27 at the age of 108, these planets keep on activating and gives their result. These formulas, these principles should be kept in mind and According to me, along with the Shantra Dasha, these ages should also be checked to see which planet is getting activated right now. And many a times what I have seen that the result of transit and the result of Dasha is superseded by this technique also. So whenever you want to predict something, keep this in mind and don't predict without using this formula. Otherwise, either the prediction may go wrong. Generally, it does not go wrong. But you may miss predicting some important event about the native. And not only that, if there is no planet in the house, you should take the planet aspecting the house because of course the result of placement and the result of aspect will be separate. And thirdly, the result of Lord of the house should also be taken. So you say if Mercury is the Lord of the 12th house, then the same result which is told for Mercury situated in the 12th house should also be predicted. So first of all, you should decide what result the planet is giving. Discriminate the result that the planet will give by being situated in that house, by being uh, by putting his aspect on the house or by being lord of the house. And based on the uh, result, whatever you find after considering whether it is an aspect placement or house lordship, you should predict the epitome of result or fructification of result in these years or in multiple of these years. Because I have found this technique to be very useful in my practice, I thought to share it with you. So that you can use it in your practice and make your predictions even more deeper, even more accurate and predict those things about yourself and people who consult you that cannot be otherwise predicted.